Story Blocks The Titanic is one of the most famous ships in history, and its sinking is one of the most tragic events of the 20th century. Built in the early 20th century, the Titanic was one of the largest and most luxurious ships of its time, and it was touted as unsinkable. However, on April 15, 1912, the Titanic struck an iceberg and sank, taking over 1,500 lives with it. Construction and Design of the Titanic The Titanic was built by the Harland and Wolfe Shipyard in Belfast, Northern Ireland, for the White Star Line. The construction of the ship began in March 1909 and was completed in April 1912. The Titanic was 882 feet long, 92 feet wide, and weighed 46,328 tons. It was powered by three enormous steam engines and had four funnels, although only three of them were functional. The ship was divided into 16 watertight compartments, which were designed to prevent flooding in the event of an accident. The Titanic was also outfitted with the latest technology and luxurious amenities, including a swimming pool, Turkish bath, and a grand staircase. Maiden Voyage of the Titanic The Titanic's maiden voyage began on April 10, 1912, from Southampton, England, and it was bound for New York City. The ship made stops in Cherbourg, France, and Queenstown, now known as Cove, Ireland, before heading across the Atlantic. The Titanic carried over 2,200 passengers and crew, including some of the wealthiest and most prominent people of the time. Unfortunately, the ship would never make it to its final destination. The Sinking of the Titanic On April 14, 1912, the Titanic was cruising across the North Atlantic when it struck an iceberg at around 11.40 p.m. ship time. The collision caused a series of holes in the ship's hull, which allowed water to flood the lower compartments. The ship's crew worked to contain the damage, but the situation quickly became dire. The Titanic began to sink, and it became clear that there were not enough lifeboats for all of the passengers and crew. As a result, many people were forced to cling to debris or jump into the freezing water, which had a temperature of just 28 degrees Fahrenheit. The rescue effort began quickly, but it was hampered by the lack of communication and coordination among the ships in the area. The nearest ship, the Carpathia, 